welcome back so for today's video I have for you a little makeup tutorial um, or get ready with me whatever you want to call it I kind of just did my makeup and recorded it for you guys this is the look I created let me zoom in a little bit um a little smoky moment what am I getting ready for you ask to sit in the sala I hope you guys enjoy watching this video and if you're new here my name is Kimmy K I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do but I have this cool camera so here I am recording my my life um if you guys want to see how I created this look then let's get started okay so I went ahead and did my brows and I did put some moisturizer on I actually do my eyeshadow first before I do my face makeup just in case I have fallout which I really don't have fallout, but just to be safe. I usually use concealer as my base. I really want to try that P. Louise though. Everybody's eyeshadow always comes out so bomb with that. Okay, since we are doing a simple look. I mean, I don't know if simple because if you know me, I start out simple and then it ends up turning into cut crease, liner, lashes. So we're going to use natural tones like browns okay so i'm gonna start with this is a morphe m441 brush and i'm gonna dip that into i'm gonna use this color right here so i'm just gonna blend this right above my natural crease and just keep dipping and doing that I'm just staying kind of low, not too close to my brow bone. Okay, so now with a different brush. This is a fluffier brush. This is M573. And then I'm going to grab a lighter color. Which actually I'm going to use a Jaclyn Hill palette for this. This earthy color right here. I'm going to dip into that. And put that above this shadow and just try to blend it together. Okay guys, I know I said this is natural and like I knew it, I knew it, I freaking knew it dude. I fucking knew it dude. I'm gonna cut my crease. When you have hooded eyes like me, you want to do it above your actual crease because if I do it where my crease is at, when I look up, it just looks funny. In my, that's my opinion, you don't have to but. <laughs> Coronavirus! Woo! If you want your crease to show more, do it above your actual crease. And when you get to the end over here, you kind of want to blend the shadow and the concealer together just because it can look patchy if you don't. Okay, so I'm gonna use that same brush and I'm gonna set it with that first color we used in the Morphe James Charles palette. And I'm just gonna set it in place. The same brown that's on the outer corner. And place it again on the outer corner and just kind of blend it in towards where you cut the crease. Just like that. Okay, so I actually went in with the darker brown to blend that outer corner.
Okay, so that's that. And now I'm gonna do my eyeliner. This is the Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D. And let me show you how I do my eyeliner. This is so weird. Everybody that's seen me do my eyeliner thinks it's so weird how I do it, but this is the best way that I find that suits my eye, so we're gonna do it. Are you ready? That's how I start it. And then I draw the rest of it on. Okay, hey guys, we're back. Had to charge my camera for a little bit. Um, and I ate a keto quesadilla, it was so bomb. Okay, so for lashes, I'm gonna use these. These are by the Lash Bar LA. And I barely got these, they're so expensive guys, but they're so worth it. Oh my gosh, these are so bomb. I got these when I see, obviously if y'all watch Alondra Desi, y'all know that she's like, um, like the face of Lash Bart and she was wearing them in one of the videos I don't even remember what video it was but she was wearing them in one of her videos and I was like oh my god I have to have those lashes they're so bomb and so I bought them and y'all are about to see what they look like on first I'm gonna put some mascara on my lashes okay so these are in the style boss babe okay so now we're gonna put the lash on look how bomb guys oh my god That's gonna be it for my eyes for now. I'm gonna get back to them, but now I'm gonna work on my face. So let me zoom y'all out. Hello. And like y'all saw, I already moisturized, but I also wanna put on the Tatcha water cream. This makes my face so smooth, and I regret getting the travel size because it's so bomb. Look how tiny it is. This stuff is amazing. And for foundation, I'm using Fit Me. This is in the color Warm Nude. This is the Morphe M439. And I just like to get a little bit of foundation and just put that in here and bring it down my neck, my triple chin. Okay, so now that foundation's on, I'm gonna put on concealer. And for concealer, I'm using the CoverGirl. This is in Classic Ivory, here's what it looks like. And I'm gonna put that under my eyes. Forehead, nose, chin, and my mustache. So I'm just gonna blend that in. I'm gonna set my concealer with some classic airspun I'm gonna bronze now I don't really contour but I just do the bronzer and I don't cream contour that's what it's called I don't cream contour I just use regular powders and I'm gonna use this powder right here this is the butter bronzer and I'm gonna use this old ass Mary Kay brush that I've had since I was a consultant with Mary Kay. Those days are long gone. So I'm just gonna dab this on. I kind of put it everywhere. I focus it right here, but I kind of put it everywhere just so I'm not so, just so I'm not so pale. You see the difference? Then I grab my actual dark bronzer this is by Anastasia and this is in the color tawny here's what it looks like for my contour I'm gonna use this brush and this is a morphe e4 brush Excuse me here.
Okay, so now I'm gonna contour my nose a little bit. And for that, I'm using this Lorac brush that I've also had for like 20 years. And I'm gonna dip that into the same tawny color. So I'm just gonna place this right here on the edge of my nose. I'm just gonna connect that bronzer with my shadow right here. I don't know why I like to do that. It's just something that I like to do. So dip it in that bronzer and then connect it with your eyeshadow. Back into the airspun, I'm gonna get some more of that powder and put it under my contour line. So we're just gonna leave that on for a few seconds. And blush. Now for blush, I'm gonna use, this is a Morphe M105. Okay, the real OG, this is This is in the color Luminoso, Luminoso by Milani. And I'm gonna put that on my cheeks. On the apples of my cheeks. And then I'm gonna put some on my nose, on the tip of my nose. And then the rest of that powder, I'm gonna dust it off, dust it away now. Thank you for your services. Okay, so now for highlight. If you guys know of a bomb highlighter, let me know. Because I've been looking. I've been looking for one. Now I need to go back to the bottom of my eyes. I'm going to be using... I like to use this and like pack it on first and then blend it out. So that's what I'm going to do. So with this outer color that we used out here for the shadow, that darker brown. Sam, 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 Sam. And then with the pencil brush, I'm not going to pick up any product. I'm just going to diffuse that a little, blend it out, smoke it out, whatever you want to call it. Now with that same pencil brush, I'm going to go in with the lighter color that we used up here. The very, very first color we used. I'm going to grab that and blend it out. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Smoke it out. Now I am going to do liner. I'm just gonna place that on the outer corner. So liner only in the outer corner. And you don't wanna leave it like that because it looks kind of funny. So then again, pencil brush, this time with the darkest color that you have. You're gonna blend that right in. So now finally, last step, you can put on your mascara. Did y'all think I was done with the eyes? Cause I'm not. We have to still do inner corner and brow bone. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the brow bone first and I'm gonna go in with my actual highlight that I used for my cheeks. I'm gonna actually put that on my brow bone. So I'm just gonna place a little bit of that on there. Now for my inner corner, check this little trick I have. Let me show you something. Let me put y'all on real quick. This is a jumbo eye pencil by NYX. So I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. Now I'm gonna put that shade on top of this. Do y'all see the difference? So, um, see? So then I'm gonna do that. There we go. 
Okay, so let me back your lip. Back it up, back it up, Terry. Back up, Terry. So I went ahead and did my lips, and I used this lipstick by Live Glam and Laura. This is in the shade 1992. This is my favorite lipstick right now at the moment. It's so bomb. And on top of that, I used this one. This is a Super State Matte Lipstick by Maybelline. This is in the shade Driver. And then on top of that, I used the shade Boutique by Life Glam. Okay, so that's the, the everyday natural go-to look, I guess. Because that's what I intended to do with this video, but it is a little extra. It is a little extra, hmm. but whatever, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay guys, so that's gonna be it. I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on my next video.